Hey my lovelies, today I'm going to do my March favourites. Um, I've not really changed much of my beauty products in March. Um, I'm kind of on the lookout for some new things at the moment. So um, I've just been either carrying on using things from uh, February and uh, there's a couple of new things in there. So I'm going to start with the beauty products and then I'm going to move on to fashion accessories and other things that I've been loving. So I'm going to start with um, skincare and the first thing I have is Bioderma. This you've probably all seen a million times before. Um, it's probably one of the most talked about cleansers um, on the market. Um, I got mine from Essential about two months ago now. Um, you really don't need to use a lot of this. Use it on a cotton pad to take your makeup off or use it to um, cleanse your skin and it's really really effective and it's nice and gentle on the skin, it doesn't break me out um, it's really good for dry skin this is my monthly favourite for every month he's really cute and he's inside with me today and he's come to help so he's his contribution and his monthly favourite is Marky Biscuits because he's been eating those all month. Haven't you? Yeah. 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 So anyway, as I was saying, um, this Bioderma, um, I really, really like this for when you're in a rush too. Um, it's really quick and it actually feel, it feels like you've cleansed your skin. It doesn't just feel like you've wiped over it with water and it actually feels like it's done something. Um, I don't use this I don't rely on it, I should say, as my everyday cleanser because I think um, using something cream based is a deeper cleanse um, which for my skin it doesn't work to use a gentle cleanser all the time but I've really been loving this and I'd highly recommend trying it if you are looking for a cleanser. The next thing is kind of um, a rediscovery and it's the Lush Earl Aurora Water, um, it's a toner um, I bought this ages ago actually and I lost it and I actually bought a new one and then um, I found my old one again so I've been using this. It's a really nice gentle natural toner. Um, I don't use a whole lot of natural skincare products on my skin because I find that um, my skin needs a few chemicals just to keep the balance and to help with breakouts and things because I do still get breakouts even though my skin is sensitive and quite dry at times. Uh, this one is a kind aromatherapy water to cherish your face, a gentle tonic for everyday use that will help hydrate the skin without causing it to overreact and it basically does what it says it's going to do. Um, I think this is about £7. Uh, it's really similar to the Liz Earl toner um, so it's a cheaper alternative to that one and it's just a good all-round toner. It's not an exfoliating toner it's just a nice soothing one um, that I use after I've cleansed or if I've done a double cleanse then I don't usually use toner but just an everyday great toner to have really. Um, so the next that. thing, if you read my blog you'll know I go on about all the time and it's La Roche-Posay Effaclar Duo. Um, this is my second one, I'm already about halfway through it. I use this every day, um, usually morning and night, um, because it's a really, really good spot treatment. But it's also quite gentle, so it doesn't hurt the skin, it doesn't irritate, it doesn't break me out anymore, and it doesn't dry my skin up. I find a lot of acne treatments, because um, my skin is quite on the dry side now, it used to be really oily, but it's not anymore, um, that they dry my skin out a bit too much, and then it just ends up making it worse, because I have to pile on loads of moisturiser because my skin is sore. Um, this one doesn't do that, it doesn't leave your skin sore. Uh, you can use it um, both morning and evening, it doesn't irritate. Um, it dries instantly so you can wear makeup over it um, and I've not had any problems at all with this. Um, it doesn't sort of get rid of breakouts overnight um, but you can see a difference straight away. Um, but I prefer that because, as I said, some of the harsher treatments dry my skin out and make things a lot sorer than they are. So yeah, I'd really highly recommend getting this if you're struggling with any sort of breakout, scarring, acne, redness, anything like that. I'd highly recommend that. The last beauty product I have to show you is the Soap & Glory Thick & Fast Mascara. Um, I'll do a close-up then you can see the brush. 
Um, but this I bought um, quite a while ago actually. I always keep a couple of new mascaras um, in one of my drawers um, just in case it runs out because they always tend to run out when I'm least expecting it. And this is one that I picked up um, as I said quite a while ago and I just thought oh, I'll give that one a go. Um, and at first I wasn't really impressed with it. Um, I found it quite difficult to apply um, but now I've used it for um, around a month probably now. Um, it's dried up a bit and now it's really really good. It's really easy to get thick full lashes. Um, it gives length, it gives volume. It's not quite as good as the Benefit there Real but it's a really good dupe for that. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to make your eyelashes look a lot more full and long and more like false lashes than natural ones. Um, it's really good for that. I think it's about £10, you can get it at Boots. Um, I think you can get this um, online as well and I think you can also get it in the US. And now we'll move on to non-beauty products. Uh, the first thing um, that I've been loving this month is my secret box from Astrid and Me, which is this. I got this secret box after seeing a few other YouTubers um, talking about it and showing some of the jewellery um, because I thought it looked really pretty and I don't really wear that much jewellery and I always feel like I need to but I don't always want to wear big statement pieces um, and this month's box is all about stacking jewellery. I'm wearing one of the necklaces today, I'm wearing the um, wishbone necklace that I got in the box. But basically it works a bit like a glossy box and um, you get jewellery in these little pouches and I got three necklaces this month and some little beauty samples in there and um, it's just a really refreshing idea and it's really nice to get some new, new jewellery um, that I probably wouldn't have looked at myself um, if I hadn't got the box really I would have probably thought oh I don't know which one to get and I would have probably gone for something else and then realised oh, I'd rather add that one so I think it's really nice to get something um, picked out for you um, they do send you like a survey and everything so you can tell them if you don't want things or you don't like um, but yeah this is my first ever box and I'm really impressed with it I do have a blog post all about it um, so I will link that in the description box. The last thing um, that's been my favourite this month is actually my new phone. Um, this is the iPhone 5S. Um, before that I had the iPhone 4 and you'll have known if you've seen me ranting on Twitter about it that it was so slow and so difficult to use and everything kept going wrong with it. And um, I just got so fed up of it to be quite honest. And it was finally time for my upgrade. So I went for the iPhone 5S in gold. I still haven't customised the settings and everything yet. Um, but I did get this really, really cute Pugs and Kisses phone case. Um, my mum actually ordered this for me from Amazon. Um, I was just looking for iPhone cases and I couldn't find any that I liked for the 5S. And I came across this one and it's got two little Pugs on and it's pink and it says Pugs and Kisses and it's kind of... It's a good plastic. I, I don't know if it's the best quality. Uh, I think it was four ninety nine from Amazon. I, if I can find it, I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I just searched for pug phone case because I was just running out of ideas, and then this one came up, and I thought that's cute. I'll get that one. And also because I'm really overprotective about things, I got this phone case, which is a Mark Jacobs little um, kind of like wallet purse clutch bag thing. Um, it's bright pink neoprene, it's got the little Marc Jacobs badge and the pink, I think it's faux leather, I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather of some description anyway. Um, chain so you can just put your hand around that and hold it like that. So if you just want to take your phone out it's really useful for that. It's a bit stiff at the moment because it's so new, I've not had this very long. And um, inside is all neoprene as well and it's really good for the phone. My phone fits in really well. And also with being super bright pink it's really easy to find in my handbag. Um, I got this from Harvey Nichols. Um, I had a 15% off um, shopping event thing that ran out um, on Sunday and I just popped in just to have a, a look around see if there was anything that I wanted and I ended up spotting this and I thought that's perfect for a phone case. 
it was £45, which is quite expensive for a phone case, but it is Marc Jacobs, it is hot pink, it is a really actual good protection for the phone, and I can use it for other things if I want to use it just as a purse, and I just really liked it. So that's all my favourites um, for this month. Um, please comment below and tell me what your favourites have been, and um, I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to leave your video requests and your comments below and I'll leave my blog and everything in the description box. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hello to all you that have subscribed to me and um, yeah subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!